Well, check this out. What dog doesn't love a car ride, right? Well, better yet, a ride behind the wheel. Well, some Port St. Lucie neighbors watch this dog stuck inside of a car spinning in reverse. Megan McRoberts talked to neighbors who said the dog didn't seem to mind this ride at all. Scared. I figured how the heck did they manage to do that? <laughs> Florida drivers might not have the best reputation. So when Anna Sable saw this gray sedan spinning in reverse outside her window in Port St. Lucie. He was a better driver than a lot of them I've seen. She wasn't immediately <laughs> surprised, but police started showing up. And then I saw another cop car and another cop car. <laughs> And then she realized the car had just one occupant, a black lab, rather content in the front seat. I laughed. <laughs> I, I thought they should give the dog a license to drive. <laughs> Police say the owner just stepped out of the car and the dog somehow knocked the car into reverse. The dog's owner, police and firefighters crafted a plan to stop this near hour long spree. Now, police say they were able to finally stop this dog's joy ride by punching a passcode into the driver's side door to get inside, but not before that dog first took out this mailbox, a trash can and some bricks in front of a home. No, he was doing pretty good until he hit the mailbox. He went around for about an hour without hitting anything at all. But the best news, the dog wasn't hurt at all. In fact, pretty happy after his first and hopefully last solo drive. Yeah, I saw the dog jump out of the car wagging his tail and I was like, OK, good driving. Okay, that was Megan McRoberts reporting. There is actually a dog training school, by the way, in New Zealand that does teach dogs how to drive. Still confused on how that took an hour. Yeah, how did, why did it take them so long to stop that? 